I'm Stuart, and welcome to the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience. This is the all new Rocket 3 GT, and we've got a um, Rocket 3 R as well. Two brand new models um, focused around all new two and a half litre engine and a completely new style and setup. This bike is intended to be more of a muscle speed triple than a muscle cruiser. So this bike's all about handling as well, about, as, well as about the engine. I'll take you through some of the process we go, go through to design a bike and explain some of the things that are really important to us. Okay, so this is the uh, clay buck. Uh, this is uh, fairly complete actually. Um, this shows the way the bike is actually styled. It's a hands-on process which is quite unusual. There's so much CAD uh, simulation and um, calculation that's done when you're designing a motorbike. It's still nice to have a completely crafted uh, surfaces in there. Now, what this shows is a bike that's completely laid out, the engine's in there and all the surfaces are being created. Um, but the objective when we start out is to uh, get a bike that handles really well, is agile and precise. Um, and to do that, our objective was to uh, get a bike that handled more closely to a speed triple than a traditional cruiser. Um, weight distribution is crucial, geometry is crucial, and ergonomics are crucial. All these things work together. You're designing everything at the same time and getting it to come together in this final clay model. So one of the bikes we will have put together very, very early on in the process is a mule bike. Now you can see from this, you can have a good look. There's not a lot of this that's got anything to do with a rocket as in terms of componentry, um, but this does have the correct weight distribution uh, geometry and ergonomics. So we will have made proposals from our CAD work and our knowledge of how we wanted the bike to be laid out as to what we needed to make this bike work. We build these mule bikes to show that when you put all of that together, the bike really does work the way you want, to, want it to work. It allows us to home in a little closer on the final answers and dial those into both the styling book and the final CAD layout. So everything is very tightly packaged and very, very precise. So one of the major elements of the chassis is obviously the frame. This is a new concept for us, the way we've done this frame. Um, our engines are always uh, fully stressed members of the chassis. Um, so we're using the engine stiffness as well as the frame stiffness uh, to get, give us the handling we want. In this case, we haven't got a fabricated frame. This is a completely bolted together frame, multiple aluminium castings, and uh, it, it's, it really is a work of art. All components are doing more than one job. Um, the frame itself, the spine is hollow. It is part of the air intake system, and you attach the filter directly to the frame. Uh, really, really nice um, job. It saves 11 kilos over the previous frame. The whole bike is 40 kilos lighter than the outgoing model Rocket, Rocket 3. So that's all a big part of making this bike feel more agile and handle better. Now, I mentioned about geometry and the fact that the bike is designed, um, everything is designed at the same time. It's a fully integrated process. One of the things we want for geometry for agility and handling is a slightly steeper headstock angle. So that is the angle that the steering stem makes to the vertical, okay? So we wanted that to be steeper. For the aesthetics, the look of the bike, we wanted forks that were raked out further. In fact, at the same angle as the current, uh, the outgoing rocket. So what we've ended up with on the bike is a 32 degree fork angle. So this angle to the vertical is 32 degrees, whilst the headstock, which gives you your steer axis, is 28 degrees. Now that's done with a very clever um, yoke arrangement and spindle arrangement, but it gives us both things. It gives us the geometry for the agility and handling, but it gives us that really aggressive stance and looks of the overall bike. 